Thank you. Hey, everybody. God bless you. Pastor Benny here from Love Wings Ministry Studio. I'm here in my backyard in my porch out here. It's kind of nice and warm out here today. And it's Friday. Amen. And I just, you know, come on to share that, again, uh, this is Face to Face is my program. Amen. And I'm just sitting here. I'm trying to get you on the phone so I can see that you're on the other phone here. Okay. Okay, here I am. Okay, let me get the volume off. Amen. But I'm just here thanking the Lord for what He's done in my life. And again, sitting out here just enjoying the day. Amen. And getting into His Word. And, uh, oh Lord, let me just put this. Okay. <laughs> but again, I come with the Word of God to talk about the power of the name of Jesus. I know we've been focusing on everything that's happening around us, and I just want to uh, share this, that uh, we know that we can do, number one, as the Bible says, all things through Him. And I've been saying that for the longest, and just reminding myself as I remind you, I give a shout out to everybody out there. I hope everything's going well. Uh, as we're coming into a new season in our lives and things are changing and, uh, and our lifestyles are all changing. We're all at home, amen. And uh, I know it can get a little, uh, <laughs> for the last month or something, uh, you know, uh, it can get a little tight sometimes with, you know, relationships and all that. But one thing I've always learned is get into the Word. That's what sustains me and keeps me. And I said, you know what, regardless of what's happening, like I'm always saying something's always happening, uh, whether in the world or in our personal lives or in our churches or in our jobs and all this stuff is always happening. But one thing we know that we have, that when you're going through something, as I continue to uh, sit here and, and just enjoy the day and say, thank you, Lord, for the sun. Thank you, Lord, for the simple things. Sometimes I got to, you know, we got to remind ourselves, thank you. Thank you for what you're doing in our lives. And, 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 and again, this too shall pass. Amen. Amen. But you know what? I'm, I don't want to talk so much about the coronavirus because that's all we've been hearing. You put on television. You're hearing about the coronavirus. Put this on. Put that on. Uh, you know, all kind of crazy stuff. And, uh, you know, you can get really bombarded by, by confusion. And we know that God is not a God of confusion. Neither are you and me, my brothers and sisters. And we continue to just focus on God. And, and, and the most important thing that I do in my life all the time is just, you know what? Uh, say the name of Jesus. Amen. I just say the name of Jesus. When, when things, you know, uh, are not working out the way I plan, and I start uh, looking at it or trying to concentrate on it i just stop for that minute man and i just say the name of jesus because we can't handle uh situations they're going to arise in our lives just like this corona virus i said i wasn't going to speak about it but i just got to mention it again and all this stuff that's going on but when we talk about the name of jesus as we know that as we continue to have a personal relationship and going out and sharing that with one another and sharing it to, to the whole world, especially now that everybody, uh, our lifestyle is changing. And, um, and uh, it's time for us, again, as brothers and sisters, to really examine ourselves about, like I've been saying. But I, I don't want to get too much into that because I spoke on that. Amen. I just want to encourage you today with the word a little bit. And I wrote some scriptures and I just want to share them. And that's why I'm on here today and... Uh, you know, to share the word, but also in my prayers, I'm always praying for everyone and and uh, asking the Lord to bless you in your home and whatever's going on in your life right now, which we're all going through uh, this uh, time of, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, Lord? This time of, of closure, amen, on things that <laughs> we've been going through. And I'm hoping that as things start opening up, we come with a new perspective, as I am, and a new attitude, and uh, and a new walk in my walk. 
and not taking things for granted and thanking the Lord every day. And like I said, when I'm confused, I say the name of Jesus. It's something about that name. And we say it all the time, but you know what? Think about it. Let it continue to dwell in your, inside your spirit as I do. I'm looking at over here and there because I'm looking at the other phone to see if anybody comes on. Amen. And, but I want to share this that Paul had wrote, and Paul knew one thing for sure. Because uh, he walked with Jesus, he saw Jesus, he saw the miracles and everything. But he knew that when he mentioned that name of Jesus, even when Jesus wasn't around, things happened. Amen. Because as I was saying before, he dwells within us. Amen. And, uh, and, 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 and that's the most important thing that I can say to anyone. And I'm going to continue to remind people and to stir your spirit and attune your ears. Is in Romans chapter 10, verse 13 says, For whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So simple, right? Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. And we are saved. Amen. I see someone came on. Amen. Alex and Dino, God bless you. <laughs> I know you couldn't make it out here for... Uh, uh, in April uh, with 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 your uh, Janet, but uh, we'll get a rain check on that. Things are starting to open up, but again, I'm here just coming on and being faithful uh, here at Love Wings Ministry, just sharing the gospel. Remember this: all I say is when we're going through something, just say the name. Amen. We say that. Just say the name, and you know what? And, and empower ourselves. Again, Romans chapter ten, verse thirteen says. For whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah! That alone gives me peace and gives me strength because He saves us in every situation. And God knows He saved me in a lot of situations in my life. And He continued to do that as I continue to say that name in my life and, and continue to walk in the path that he's called me to walk and and I and exactly as you my brothers and sisters out there and we know that in 1st Corinthians chapter 5 verse 4 says that in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ you are great greater together along with what with my spirit with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ with my spirit and remember, as I was saying before, we know that we have the Holy Spirit. That's the gift that God has given us. It's a part of Jesus. Jesus is in us. I mean, that's the best way I could explain it. And I remind myself of that all the time uh, as I'm walking my daily walk and continue to share the gospel with everyone that I meet, which to me has always been the love of God. And that's what I'm going to continue to do here. And as we're going through these situations, man, it's a time for us to really, and I'm going to say it again, continue to examine ourselves and come with a new perspective, man, a new pioneer spirit like never before, to win souls for the kingdom of God. That is the great commission, man, to share the good news, to share the love of God, to share Jesus. That's it, to share Jesus. And again, as I'm always saying, how can we share Jesus, we got to have him in us. We got to live it. We got to walk it. We got to talk it. Amen. But most of all, we got to have the joy of the Lord. Amen. We got to have the joy of the Lord. And that's something that I, I just thank the Lord every day for his presence in my life. And continue to water this seed that he planted in me with his word. Amen. I continue to water it. And, 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 and wanting more of Him. And, and, you know, that might sound like, man, I've heard that so many times. But it's not just hearing it, my brothers and sisters. It's really doing it and applying it into your lives. Because He'll give us peace, joy, direction, comfort, man. And, and, uh, and, and, and a sound mind. Because we start thinking of all the stuff that's going on. All the things, all the negative things activities that we know who brings that up amen and trying to get our mindset on other things and i said no i'm gonna keep my mind set on him amen keep my mind set on him and knowing that i can do all the things that he said he can do and knowing 
all the promises that he has for me and you, my brothers and sisters. And I'm so grateful. That's why I was sharing before. I, I was just talking to my uh, my sister, my oldest sister, uh, Rose, and she's over in Tampa. And we were just sharing and reminiscing of, of, of New York, of course, so that's where we found him. And, and reminiscing of our relationship as brother and sister. That's my, and I haven't spoken to her in a while. And, and uh, you know, uh, we were talking about coming together as a family reunion. And uh, you'll see where I'm going with this, amen, as a family reunion. And I was just thinking that because as I was thinking in the Word, I said, that's what God wants us, family reunion. He wants all His children to come together, amen, like never before. He wants us to have that reunion, most of all with Him first, amen, as our, our Father, but that we would have that, that, that reunion, you know, a spirit to spirit, you know. And to me, it's just the love of Christ. But as I was sharing with her, and I was thinking of all the beautiful things that she did in my life, and and how she, uh, uh, you know, was almost like my dad. She was the oldest sister, and me. For you know, I can testify to this. I was brought up with three sisters and a mother, so I have four mothers, <laughs> and I'm the, the 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 baby of the family. But, you know, the love and the compassion that my sister had for me as I was growing up. And I started thinking about dwelling there. And I said, you know, we got to come together, the family reunion, and coming together with love and just reminiscing of the things that, that we've been through through the years. Amen. And then I started looking, and, and like I said, I was praying, and I was saying, Lord, you know, I started feeling the Father's heart. That's what he's saying, and that we... Just hold on to each other, you know. And as we're at home with our families and, and we realize, man, that, you know, uh, he could come at any time or the world could end at any time. That's a fact, amen. Or we could die. You know what I'm saying? Physically die, this body. But while we're here on earth, our family, our friends, and those that God has uh, put around us, let's cherish one another again. Let us love one another and, and what I mean by love is, is connecting with one another like never before. And not taking things for granted, or, and especially not taking our Lord and Savior for granted. And that's why I keep repeating that name, Jesus, that it just automatically flows out of me in every situation. So when I'm going through something, man, the first thing I can think about is Jesus. You know, what would Jesus do? What would Jesus want me to do? Amen. Not just saying that, but what would Jesus want me to do? Because of my relationship. And I activate the Holy Spirit that's within me. And I say, Lord, I need you. And, and, and then, then, you know what? The, the great Spirit leaps within me, as the Bible says. It leaps within us. Amen. And bring us back into, into perspective of what we need to do. And what would He do? Or what He would want you to do, my brothers and my sisters. Or He want me to do. Amen. Again, 1 Corinthians 5, 4 says that in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we are great, greatly together allow, and uh, allow with what? My spirit, with the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's it, coming together. And you know what? And, and I think of that all the time. And I'm just grateful, man. Because you look at, like I was sharing with my sister, I'm looking at my life and all the things we've been through as, as siblings. And and uh, she's older now and, you know, and uh, and I was just grateful. I was grateful for the conversation. And, 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 you know, that's how I feel when I talk to Jesus, when I talk to God, when I spend time. And especially now that we had had a lot of times. And I've just been trying to fill myself more with this in my life as I continue to do what he's called me to do and try to to just you know have more of a relationship just not just not only reading it but spending a lot of time as I'm sitting here in my yard in my porch back here I'm just enjoying the day and looking at that the beauty of his holiness oh hallelujah the beauty of his holiness and I just think of these things and I just say man the name that's so all we got to remember is to say the name of Jesus. See, somebody else came on. God bless you. Amen. And it says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 and 10, Therefore go highly exalt him and give him 
the name which is what? Above every name, that at the name of Jesus, hallelujah, at the name of what? Of Jesus, every knee shall bow for those who are in heaven and for those who are on earth and for those who are under the earth. Hey! <laughs> That's a fact. Every knee's going to bow. Amen. And you know the good thing that I can bow my knees down. I can go before him. I can go directly to Abba Father. Amen. And you know what? And I know that I have the peace and the joy of the Lord that's within me. Amen. And all I got to do is just say that name. Jesus. Amen. And that's just what I come on today. I just want to remind you, man, that you know, no matter what, just keep saying that name, Jesus. Amen. It just it it, it it rejuvenates you. You know, it rejuvenates me. Amen. When I say that name, when I read that name, when I speak that name, thinking of Him, when I that my thoughts are on things above. Amen. Not on the things of this earth. And I continue to walk in peace. I continue to walk in direction. I continue. To be delivered from anything that would try to hinder my relationship. Especially with Jesus and my family and you guys out there. Amen. You know? And like I said, we're here for a short time and this, we don't know. You know? And like I said, I'm going to be ready at all times. The Bible says be ready. I want to be ready. Because we don't know. You know? When he comes or when we leave. And I keep telling people that because you know what? Uh, uh, that that's what I'm saying. We got to just continue to remember who we are and who He is. And as we continue to do that, that's all that matters. I also want to say in Colossians chapter 3, verse 17, it says, And whatever you do in word or deeds, do all in what? In the name of Jesus. Giving Him thanks. Giving thanks, rather, to God the Father, through who? Through Him. Again, I want to read that again. Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. And whatever you do, in word or deeds, do all in what? The name of the Lord Jesus. Giving thanks to God the Father, through who? Through Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Through Jesus. Through Jesus. I write a lot, so that's what I'm saying. I love to write and learn. Because I'm still learning. And I know that, you know, this is mightier than the, you know, than a lot of things that is like mightier than the sword when we start writing because we have the spiritual sword. Amen. Because we put on what? The full armor of God. Amen. And you know what? And I and I think about this and I look at the scriptures and you go back in the scriptures back in the day and how many people just saying the name of Jesus back in the Old Testament were killed? You know what I'm saying? By, uh, by, by, by religious leaders and all the stuff. They crucified Jesus. Amen. And uh, that, that's, what, that's what the enemy wants to stir up. That's what he wants to continue to give us confusion. But we know that we can say that name freely now. We can, just as we have access to the Father through Jesus Christ. That we could say that name freely. Oh, hallelujah. We've come a long way, my brothers and sisters. And what Christ did that day on that cross for me and you. Let us never forget that. Let us continue to remind ourselves. Let us continue to lift up the name of Jesus. And share that name of Jesus with everyone that's out there. And now, why did the early believers die rather than to... And, uh, to give up using the name of Jesus. Look at the scriptures. Go back and you'll see. You know, uh, uh, and, 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 and we know that why they, the religious leaders attacked the name of Jesus from the furry verse uh, instant of its use by both believers. Amen. And the religious leaders understood that the power, that the power that the name came uh, the power that came from using that name, rather, of Jesus through what? Through the name of Jesus that would bring what? Would bring what? Salvation. Amen. Salvation. Oh, thank you, Lord. When I think of that. Thank you, Father. 
And again, I know that you're out there, and I hope that this video encourages you because that's what I come out here to do is to encourage and to lift you up. And remember, let us continue to use the name of Jesus. And again, as we're going through all this stuff, man, let's get you know back into that reunion like never before as we go back to our churches, back to what God has called all of us to do. The Great Commission is to share and to have relationship with others and encourage them and say, man, God loves you as he loves me, man. When we say the name of Jesus, that's all you got to say is that name because he sustains us every day of our lives. He sustains me every day. And every, all the trials and things that I've been through in my life, when I'm always saying that name that continues to uh, uh, give me peace, give me joy, give me healing, give me de deliverance. And whatever situation that you might think that you're going through right now, just speak that name. Remind yourself of that name. And even when we don't understand why things happen, man, just call upon the name of Jesus. Ask Him to give you peace and understanding and, and to continue to order your steps and to continue to keep you uh, His presence in your life as you continue to water that seed, that Holy Spirit that's within us. And I'm just sharing this from my heart because that's how I feel about it. I, I just think about the Lord all the time. And I think about all the things that, 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 that he's done in my life and I've seen the miracles and things that he's done in other people's lives that I've met through my life. And like my brother Alex, who was just on there, the miracle he did in Alex's life. And how he transformed him, he renewed him. Uh, and, 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 and he can't stop talking about the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> like a lot of you out there, when I think of that, amen, because we live, we breathe, because he's in us. Oh, hallelujah. He's in us. And that's, that's all that, you know, that, I mean, what else can you say? What else can we say? You understand what I'm saying? What, what fills the void in, 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 that had filled the void in my life and in your life? Think about it. When we met that, our Lord and Savior, when He came into our lives, and, 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 and we could just reflect every day of how He sustains us and keeps us because He's with us every step of the way. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. That is so true. That's why I keep saying these same verses. That's why I keep mentioning these things because I said, I'm not just speaking it to you, man. I'm speaking it to myself and knowing that, that He's in me. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Acts chapter uh, 21. I mean, Acts, I'm sorry. Acts chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Again, I'm going to say that. Acts chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. Saved from our stinking thinking. <laughs> Save from us making a wrong decision. Save when we just stop and wait upon the Lord for Him to renew our strength. And that when we will mount up with the wings of eagles, amen, when we stop and say that name, it gives us power. Oh, hallelujah. And I know that I'm not going to focus on what's happening on this world anymore. I know that it's sad and things are happening. But like I said, something is always happening. But we can walk in peace. We can walk in joy. Regardless of where we're at. When we need, all we got to call is the name of Jesus. And believe and learn to patiently wait, as the Bible says. Patiently wait. And that's what we all now in our cocoon, so to speak, waiting, but a good place to, 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 to love one another, to, to uh, spend time with the Lord like never before. To, you, you have the opportunity to, 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 to dig into His Word, to get every promise, to renew the mind, amen, and the heart and the spirit that gives joy. Oh, hallelujah. And be able to, and so be so full of the love of God to go out and just share it as things just start opening up and we just start moving forward and loving one another, encouraging one another, and building one another up. That is the gospel, my brothers and sisters. It is that simple. That is the gospel that He that dwells in us, 
He that dwells in us. Let him speak through your life. Let him speak through my life. I tell you, man, you could make a difference, man. Continue to stir your spirit. Continue to, uh, those dreams that God has given you, as he's given me so many, I, I, I got them written down, and I'm looking forward to doing them and, and visiting and going out to, to places to just share the love, to share my testimony, to share my life. That is, that's just what we do. Amen. Sometimes we get so caught up in just doing the same thing over and over. And God's saying, no, he wants to give you more, but he wants you to step out in faith. He wants you to activate the Holy Spirit. And you know what? Renew not only your mind and your spirit, but take action, man. Become a man of action or a woman of action. Start doing the things that you thought about, that you have the time now to uh, make a, a, a plan. That's what I've been doing, a plan. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. So i am already got my plan, my direction, because as I continue to get into God's presence, what happens is He starts directing my, 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 my steps. As the Word says, he, he directs our steps. He's a light onto my path. But it takes you and me that we got to activate ourselves within us. Amen. I want to read, uh, let me see if I got this right. Okay, yeah, Acts chapter 2, again, but go down to verse 38. But then I'm going to read that out of the, uh, oh, I almost knocked the phone down. I want to read it out of the English uh, Standard Version Bible. And it says from verse 38, And Peter said to them, Repent and be what? Baptized every one of you in what? In the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of our sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Now we know that. And we know that the word, but to me, that's every day. I ask the Lord every day. I repent every day. I say, Lord, thank you. Have I done anything wrong? I mean, I'm just being I'm, If I've done everything wrong, and before my feet touches that floor off my bed, if I've done everything wrong, forgive me. I repent. Amen. Because I said, don't take that Holy Spirit away from me. Amen. Not to say that he will, because when he gives us something, we know that he's good. But it's just to continue to remind myself that, he that is in me and walks with me and talks to me and guides me and he heals my body. He heals my mind. He heals my spirit. To me, that is that simple. That is the true gospel of God. Knowing that as he heals us, amen, I see somebody else came on. I can't see too far. Janet Otis, God bless you. Amen. And that's, again... Uh, my sister, I was saying, that's what sustains me. He that is in me. Amen. But I remind myself all the time. So whatever's going on around me, whatever situation is happening, I just call upon the name of Jesus. Amen. Call on the name of Jesus. And I repent every day. I say, Lord, forgive me because I don't know what the day is going to bring. And I tell that everybody at Love Wings Ministry in our church. And I said, I tell everybody there as... I said, you know, before your feet touches that floor, man, you get up, just thank God and repent of anything. Because you know what? It, make sure that you start the day because you don't know what the day is going to bring. I see a lot of written stuff that can't see it from this far, but God bless you. Amen. But I'm saying this to say that, man, that's, that's it, man. Remember that he that is in you. So don't forget that the name, the name Jesus that sustains us. He saves us every day. He gives us a strong mind. Amen. Because we got the great comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. But as we continue to activate it, we not just, you know, we got to not just talk to talk. We got to live it in our lives and we got to walk the walk. Amen. And through him, we can do it. You can do it. We can do all things. And he's our healer. He's our deliverer. He guides us. Man, and I said, man, when you when you confuse, and we shouldn't be because the Bible says that we're not to be confused of anything. And the more we get into his word, the more we start spending time, especially we have a lot of time now, to reminisce and to go over our lives and say, you know what? My, 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 my priority is first to seek the first, the kingdom of God in every situation in my life. And I'm just sharing this with you as a testimony of my life. And that's what I do. And I, God has given me an opportunity now, these last nine years, to minister the word like never before. 
and 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 this is my job, so to speak, and I enjoy it because again, my desire has always been to share the gospel, and God is you know given me the the opportunity even more so in my life, and uh, I'm just so grateful, Amen. I'm just grateful, you know, because He entrusts all of us, but not to say that He gives us all gifts, but it's up to us to continue to. Uh, uh, water it with the word, with his word, and saying the name of Jesus, and walking, you know, the path that he has directed for your life and for my life. That's it. That's the gospel, man. I'm not, like I said, I'm not into religion. I'm into relationship with our Heavenly Father, as I am into relationship with those that I meet. And I'm going to continue to say it, that every person that comes into your path, God has put him in your path for a reason. That is your first ministry. That's your ministry. Just like our families, when we got saved and we, and we experienced and God filled the void within us, who we grab on to our children, to our family first and share, the, and share the love with them. But then also remember this, that is also our job, the Great Commission, that all those individuals that he put in our lives, you know what I'm trying to say? All the individuals that he put in our lives. Because again, the Bible says that our steps are ordered by him. Right? Our path is ordered by him. So everyone that comes in our path is our responsibility to share the good news, which is the love of Christ. To me, the word has always been love, encouragement. Amen. That's it. The love of Christ and sharing it with every individual that we meet. Because my brothers and sisters, that's why he put them in our lives. So that's why I tell everybody when I meet somebody, I know I didn't meet you by chance. The Lord put you in my life for a reason. You know what I'm saying? And I ask the Lord for wisdom right there. At the very moment I meet a person, I'm, I, you know, because I'm telling you, the more I spend time with the Lord, the more, uh, you know, you get understanding. And you're able to discern even spirits. Amen. Because uh, we know we all have a spirit in us. But what I'm saying by that is that every person I meet, I always, is, even if I meet them for the first time, I'm asking the Lord, why you put this person in my life? What's, what can I say that needs to be said? Not what I should think, but what you want me to say to this individual. And I'm telling you, my brother and sister, man, the Holy Spirit rises within you. And it'll tell you what to say and what not to say. Amen. Amen. Because, you know, that first impression when you meet someone, you know what I'm saying? And you know what? I thank the Lord that I don't have to put a front or mask on. I'm just me. You know what? And that's what he wants you to be is just to be you. Because remember, he that dwells within you is greater than anything in this world. And what happens is the illumination of who God is, who Jesus is, comes out of us how we speak, and how we treat each other. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So again, I just want to say that, remember back in the day, in the Old Testament, man, all the people died just mentioning the name of Jesus and were crucified and were led to the lions, all the things that have happened because they said the name of Jesus. And now, because of that crucifixion of that, what everyone went to 2,000 years down, down the road, here we are talking about that, that that uh, that name Jesus, and how He set you free, and how He set me free, and gave you direction, and gave me direction. How could we not be grateful and thank Him, and continue to build our relationship? The good news is that He wants to give you more. He wants to give you more, and there's so much, and so many promises in the Word of God. That you know what, the only way you're going to know them is you got to dig into them. Amen. And then you see them manifest in your life. Amen. And you become stronger. You become, you know, at, uh, you become, I see somebody else coming on there. God bless you. I can't see the names, but I'm sure I'll write them down before. God bless you. Amen. But he reminds, man, remind yourself, of, man, how, how blessed you are, you know. And we could be there for others because that's your responsibility, my sister, my brother, and my responsibility. That those individuals that come into your path, God has put them there for a reason. And that's what I said, activate your spirit. 
as we come through this season of what we're going through right now and we go back to our uh, our local churches or uh, our jobs or our family, man, pick up the phone, share the gospel, man. Share the name of Jesus through your life, through your testimony, because those individuals, man, that God has put in your life, it's up to you and me to share the light of God, the love of God. Right now, especially all the things that are happening in this world. But the name of Jesus still has the power. It still has the anointing. It never changes when we speak that name. And it happened first in us so we could share. And I'll tell you, there's so many promises, so many gifts that, that God wants to bestow upon you and me so much more that he wants to give us as we continue to put these like the five-fold ministry these together and spend time in a dialogue to me prayer is a dialogue always conversating with him that i don't need to just do this this physical motion i can just speak to him as i'm sitting right here to say lord give me what to say to somebody out there right now and I said, Lord, before I sat here in my yard here in my porch in the back of the house, I said, give me something to say that's going to touch my brothers and sisters that, might, uh, that are watching this, me live now, watch this later, that will stir their spirit and tune their ears to remember that we can do all things through you, Christ, that strengthens us every day, that we can mount up with wings of eagles, that, that you ain't finished with us yet, amen, and, 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 and give us an opportunity now to... Uh, to, to, to be even more on fire. I want to be on fire always for the Lord. Amen. On fire for the Lord in the spiritual realm. Amen. And speaking life and speaking deliverance and speaking healing as I lay my hands on people or speak the name or even as I, I extend my hand out and I start praying and believing and, and I, because I believe and I pray and I ask because I know that whatever comes out of my mouth, as the word said, will not go void. It would accomplish what it's set out to do. And I think of all these scriptures. I continue to fill myself with them. And I continue to just arise and, 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 and let the Holy Spirit that's within me arise and continue to have a pioneer spirit to do so many things. And I'm trying, my brothers and sisters. Believe me, I'm trying to. And I'm so grateful that, uh, I don't know if some of y'all watch me, if you don't, we have uh, Love Wings Ministry Studios and we have an opportunity to share the gospel. I'm looking forward to do more things in, in my community and in in, in, in where I'm at and doing and reaching the world as I'm doing now today because I've gotten emails from Afghanistan, oh man, from Africa, Kenya, Africa, from Hawaii, those that know me, uh, I know a few people in Hawaii that are out there and and uh uh england i mean i've been so blessed and, and because of the power of the internet and using it through social media to say the name even though we hear it all the time but we got to continue to revive that and continue to have the pioneer spirit that every knee even as the word said i'm gonna read it back again let me what's that verse said i forgot i want to be precise on the verse it says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 and 10, Therefore God also highly exalted him and gave him the what? The name uh, which is above every name, that the name of Jesus, that every knee shall bow for those in heaven and those on earth and those even under the earth <laughs> shall bow. When we say, give us power, the name of Jesus. So I come on today. I just want to encourage you as I continue to do uh, uh, Spirit and in Truth on Tuesdays. And I do this, which is called Face to Face. Amen. <laughs> and then uh, every second Saturday, my wife and, and one sister now, because we can't have people coming to the church, but we're looking forward to building it up again when things get... Uh, when it's right that we can come all fellowship together again. Uh, amen. As they do Woman at the Round Table. And then on Sundays, we do our services live. Amen. Every Sunday for those that are listening out there. Uh, Suze, uh, I think it's Sandy Gooch or Susie Gooch. Uh, a sister out in, I think she's in North Carolina. I'm not, 
I'm not sure either. North Carolina, South Carolina. I hope I got it right, my sister, who watches me and uh, uh, and is always texting me. Thank you, my sister. And, and those that are out there that I know, some of the pastors out here, New York, everywhere. You see what I'm saying? That God said that we would preach, that we would do, Jesus said rather. Let me slow down. Jesus said that we would do greater things. And I said, man, put me in that number. Amen. I want to do great things. And I want to continue to have the pioneer spirit. And I'm sharing that with you so you can stir the pioneer spirit that's within you. Amen. Those dreams, those, those things that are in your heart that you've been saying, man, I want to do. Do them first for the kingdom. Remember, put the kingdom of God first. And you'll see, he'll give you every desire in your heart. Amen. He's given me the man to be sitting here today with all the stuff that the people that know me, I've been through, but I can sit here today enjoying this, this time right here with the sun out behind me. And I feel fine. Amen. And I feel great. And my spirit feels empowered. That's the gospel. You know, that's, that's what it's all about. That void that he gives us peace. He gives us peace even in the midst of all the stuff that's going on. Oh, hallelujah. I just think of that and I, I, you know, I just thank you, Lord. And the more you're grateful, you know, we got to be grateful every day, my brothers and sisters. Even though things happen and they're going to continue to happen. But we got to be grateful. Number one, that we have Him. Oh, hallelujah. <clears throat> oh, I'm so grateful, Father. I just want to pray right now. Oh, Father. Thank you, Lord, for who you are. Thank you, my God, that you sustain me and you sustain my brothers and sisters that are out there. Thank you, Lord, for this word, Lord. Thank you, Lord your word Lord that continues to work within me use me father Lord to speak to whoever's out there right now Lord whatever situations they're going through right now father Lord I pray peace in the name of Jesus father those that might be sick in body right now I pray healing in the name of Jesus Father, I pray that you're stirring, Father Lord, the spirit, Father Lord, that's within my brothers and sisters, Lord. Father Lord, that you're sending down from heaven right now, Father Lord. Living water, Father, more living water into them, Father, into the seed that you have planted to each one of their lives, Lord. Father Lord, you know every need, Lord. Father, that's out there, my God, Lord. Father, even as I extend my hand, Lord, Father, fulfill those needs, my God, that need to be filled, Lord. Father, even close the doors that need to be closed, Lord. Father, for you have so much for my brothers and sisters that you've done to me, Lord. Father, Lord, even as you heal my body, heal my mind, heal my spirit, heal my soul, Lord. Father, Lord, do the same to those that are out there, Father, Lord. Whatever they're going through right now, I pray, Father, Lord, that as I'm believing in your word, and as your word said that everything that is spoken, Father, Lord, concerning you, Lord, to share with others, Lord, that it would not go void, but that it would touch, Father, Lord, their very lives right now, Lord. Father, Lord, I bind the enemy that would try to intervene father lord even right now lord i bind it in the name of jesus even as we read in your word lord in philippians that every knee shall bow in heaven on earth and underneath the earth lord father lord i pray father lord that i'm believing as i extend my hand lord that you're foreseeing every need now, Father, Lord. You're touching every heart, my God, Lord. You're stirring the spirit, Lord, within them, my God. Tuning the ears, my God, Lord, to what was said today, my God, Lord. To empower them, Lord, with your grace continuously that flows from heaven, Lord. You said just to call upon your name, Lord. 
to call upon you, Father Lord, and whatever we ask our Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, that it will come forth, Lord. As we wait, Father Lord, as we sit here and wait, Lord, but knowing, Father, that you're already in us, my God. And, Father, I pray for those that, for whatever reason, Lord, have not accepted you yet, Father, Lord. I pray that you touch them right now, Lord, Father, Lord. Let them look towards you as I did that day, Father, Lord, in my life. Lord, when I opened up my heart and was sincere, Father, Lord, with you, Lord, and ask you to come into my life that sustained me all these years, I pray right now, Lord, that you would touch them, Father, Lord right now and I bind anything that would try to hinder that oh father lord I just thank you for my brothers and sisters I thank you for everyone that you put in my life lord those here lord and those that even went to be with you they're in slumber now lord father lord I pray for them family lord and my brothers and sisters that are out there all those that are hurting father because they lost loved ones father lord but we know father for sure lord through your word lord and we believe and have hope in your word, Lord, that we will see them again, Lord. But I pray peace right now. Father, Lord, I pray peace. I pray love, Lord, and I pray direction, Father, Lord, in their lives, Lord. And Father, you said again, Lord, that what I speak out of my mouth and believe, that's it. You just said to believe, Lord, that you're going to see them through, Father. And I pray this all in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God is good. Amen. <laughs> Again, I just want to thank everyone. And I hope you continue to watch this video. I hope that I've encouraged you a little bit today or a lot. I believe that as I prayed, I believe that as I spoke the word of God, and that, that God has touched you and stirred your spirit. And know that you have a brother here. Amen. And please email me if you have any question or prayer requests. Please. There's power and unity. Amen. And you can uh, email me at lovewingsministries at gmail.com. Lovewingsministry at gmail.com. For me and my Natasha and the family, Love Wings Ministry, we love you. We care for you. We're always praying for you. Maybe out of you know, out of the physical sight, but never out of our minds and out of our heart. I pray for every pastor that's out there that knows me. I know them. I pray that God continue to bless you and your families as 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 uh, as we're doing the best we can and working with what we have. That's what I've said. You know, whatever you have in your hands, all of us just work with what you have. And the gift that God has given you, let us learn to appreciate. Let us love one another. As we go back to our churches, and uh, uh, let us come with a new perspective, a pioneer spirit to continue to share the gospel and continue to work together as a team to that no one is left behind, that we continue to bring joy. Because it's up to you and me, my brother, to bring joy, peace, and love. I give a shout out to everyone that's out there, out in Connecticut, Iris, and it's and, and, and the grandchildren, all of those that are out there, Pastor Carlos, full gospel, tabernacle in New York, and uh, uh, my other brother, uh, Rock, I think I forgot the name of it. Oh, Lord. Uh, my brothers are out there, uh, Pastor Tito, I'm for Lord of there, all of you that, that know us. And if I can help in any way, and I hope to one day be at the church, be able to share my testimony and and. Or, or groups of settings that like I do here when God gives me an opportunity when things open up I just want to share and my testimony and that's what we all to do to share the love of God and continue to bless everyone those in North Carolina those that are watching me uh, out of the country here in uh, Afghanistan uh, uh, Kenya Africa that uh, my brothers out there that have sent me uh, uh, some emails and all those and uh, those out there in Hawaii, my, my nephew Alex and Dino out there in Hawaii in the naval base, say, man, I love you. Always in my mind, always in my prayer. Uh, I just love everyone. Anthony, my other nephew, Anthony, call me. Amen. <laughs> and all of those that are out there, I love you. And I just hope that today I was able to share. And please share this video with others and 
just know that I'm here. And if you're ever in Port St. Lucie, man, you know that you got a home here. I'm here. I'm your brother. Amen. God bless you again from Pastor Benny. Amen. And, and my family and us here at Love Wings Ministry, we pray for you. We continue to bless you and give you thanks. I hope that this little time I spent with you has encouraged you and built you up. And that's my purpose. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen.